to one of my daily videos that I promised to make for you all. Because um, I want to make daily videos, so not daily vlogs, but just daily video. Uh, just random stuff, random stuff happens. I'm going to have to edit probably all of this out, because I just say stuff. But I know how to edit, so that's good. So yeah, I like this. Random videos. Do you guys want to see something really cute? Like seriously really cute? You're going to see it. Puppy! Sadie! Say hi. It's my puppy. My baby. Yeah, she's not in the mood to film her right now. She's coming over to me. The camera makes her happy. Yay! Ah, she's coming over to me. She ran outside today and tried to go with my great aunt and uncle. She tried to leave me. I'm very mad at her for trying to leave me. But I love her. See her bling? See her bling bling? She got this for Christmas. Yep, she got the rentons for Christmas. Yeah, pretty girl. Yeah, she's me. <laughs> Back to me. And Sadie is on the couch and she just hops from one couch to the other and she really doesn't know what to do right now. She really doesn't know, know what to do. No, she doesn't. Um, I don't know. I just really random. This is what you get. It's me, and I'm I'm random and silly, and this is what you get. And I have to edit out my silliness, but I guess I should be proud of it. But that's what you get. So I find a lot of times on camera, I'm not myself. Like I don't feel like I want to be myself on camera. Like I feel like I want to be somebody different, or like I try to be somebody different, but I'm learning. Trying to learn that I can just be myself, so yeah. And that my dog is my baby. Yes. So yeah. But yeah. My headphones. I am, I don't know what song I was listening to. Um, I was reading, um, I'm reading Demi Lovato's new book, um, Staying Strong. I got it on my iPad. And it's pretty good. Um, I, it made me realize how much... Um, reading the book, it's really good, and, you know, we all have different values and stuff, but I was explaining to my mom is that it made me realize how much, like, of deep of a hole that Demi, I mean, Demi is obviously recovered now, and she's doing super well, but it made me realize that how much she went, like, how much of a hole she was in, and it just, I didn't realize she was that, that bad. Until I read her book, and it's just, if you're going through a hard time right now, read Demi's book. Because the message of Demi's book, it goes through every day, like, 365 days a year. It's it's a long book. It's got 400 some pages, but I'm trying to read it. And the pages are very short, so it's a quick, um, easy read. Easy read. The last book I read was, um, uh, The Outside of a Horse. By, I think it was Jenny Ro Jenny or Jenny Robertson, something like that, Rovers or something. But what it was about is a girl that I have to insert a picture. Um, it's about a girl that her dad, her mom had died, so her dad enlisted in the military or the army, and he has to go to Iraq, and then he comes back with his leg, he has a missing leg. And it's just like the trials and tribulation of that. I'm not gonna give you, if I tell you the rest, it's gonna give you the whole thing, but basically she finds love to horses and horses basically help her and her father both heal from the tra trauma they've been through in the past five or six years since her mother had passed. So it basically heals them and her dad ends up getting a career with horses, so it's really good. I'm not going to give you the whole thing, but it's a very good book. And I have to insert a picture. I love watching horse movies. I just don't like horses. I know that makes sense. I love reading books, horse books and watching horse movies, but I do not like um, horses. So that makes sense. Um, I don't have anything against horses. Like, I'm not like horses are evil or anything. I just don't like horses like they scare me but I like horse movies and stuff so yeah but yeah I've been sort of nine days till the premiere of switch at birth yes it's gonna be awesome
some. Yes! I am so excited. Um, me and my SAB fan friends are getting pumped up for the premiere. So it's going to be a big night for all of us. I'm trying to... They're not, I don't really know the first names, so they're just my SAB friends. But um, we're kind of going to get... I think I don't know what they're planning on doing. What I'm going to do on the night of the premiere for on Instagram. So... I'll probably make a video, switch over the video. I have no idea. I did make a video the day it premiered on June 10th. So we'll make a video on that. So, But I wonder who's going to tweet. I hope Brian Lane does it. I hope he tweets for the first episode. I have completely switched my birdie brain to lame brain. Um, sorry, I'm talking loud. I got my headphones in. I've completely switched my birdie brain to lame brain because Ryan Lane just seems like he has a lot more compassion for his fans and stuff. That's why I've switched to lame brain. So yeah. And plus he's kind of really cute. So yeah. And um, the chap that reminds me about my scar. Um, a part of Demi's book, I have to insert. I'll insert another picture talks about the scars and stuff and how you're supposed to be proud of your battle scars and I am very proud even though some people think they're weird or strange or they don't look right I am very proud of my scars because it showed me what I went through and I was going through one of my videos and I got a thumbs down I was kind of sad so I'm just trying to be myself um, if you don't like my videos you know don't watch them but and I did lose one subscriber but if you want just just follow me so I'm just random and funny and I love my puppy. So yeah, follow me if you please. Instagram CourtneyFan9, Twitter CMarie14. Peace.